Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of wig maintenance. We're going to talk about longer wig styles. That's usually what I wear, so I kind of feel like that's the only thing I can really speak on. But, um, so I'm going to show you, again, I, I, I have a video of this, but I thought we'll kind of do an updated one. This is my Zara from John Renault. As you can see, I can barely like get my fingers through her. There's like snags and pulls, and she's looking a little like what do I want to say? Like straggly at the ends. Um, it almost looks like she has flyaways, or not flyaways, but like broken hair, like towards the end. And I th this is a uh, so. <sighs> Let me just say first that if you're wearing wigs, it's very, very important to buy wig products that are specifically made for wigs. Don't use shampoo, conditioner, or anything like that for human hair. It just these are these are fabric, so you don't want to use those products on these wigs. These this is a synthetic. This this wig is not heat friendly, but we're going to use heat on it, a little bit of heat on it today so I can show you how I get it really straight. Um the other thing that I think is very important for people to understand that when you wear any kind of longer wig, it's going to tangle. There there's really no way of getting around that. You're almost just going to have to learn how to deal with it. <laughs> I see a lot of people that ask, "Well, does that wig tangle a lot? Does this wig tangle a lot?" They all tangle. Okay? Every single one of them tangles. You're not going to get away from that. You can kind of decrease it. Um the <sighs> I mean, I guess you can kind of do some things to make it not tangle as much. I would say use some um, silicone spray. This is Simply Styling, which I actually don't really recommend this. I recommend the Envy Renew and Repair, but I'm out of it. So you can spray this on the nape of the wig to... It almost makes it like a little bit slippery so it doesn't rub as much. But you're always going to have that tangle and you're always going to have the flyaway look and you're always going to have things going on with the underside of a wig because it rubs on the back of your neck or it rubs on your shoulders or your car seat. I would also recommend if you do a lot of driving, if you're wearing a long wig, pull the hair to the front so it's not rubbing on the back of your seat. Or if you're wearing something at work and you're just sitting at your desk and maybe it's a sweater and it's rubbing, pull your hair to the front, the, your wig hair to the front or around the side just so it reduces that friction. But the main thing is that you're really not going to get away from it tangling. You're not going to get away from it, you know, getting worn or frizzy or anything like that. There's, there's, <laughs> it's just like, it's inevitable. And unfortunately, wigs do cost a lot of money. So you do want to use the best products you can possibly use to get the longest wear out of it. I prefer to wear long straight wigs or even short straight wigs because they seem a lot easier to take care of, a lot easier to maintain, and a lot easier to make look new again. If you're trying to make a super curly style a look new again, it's very difficult because you, if you take the curl out to, to defrizz it, you have to put the curl back in. So I guess I'm just lazy and I prefer to wear straight wigs. <laughs> no. I mean, I feel like I look better in straight wigs anyway, so it kind of works out for me. So, back to products. Um, always use wig products. I highly recommend the Aesthetica Wet Line, if you can find it, or Belle Madame's uh, Shampoo and Balsam Conditioner. I'm going to be using this today. It's the Aesthetica Revitalize and Shine Wig Mist. It's like a conditioning spray. It kind of adds moisture and shine back into the wig. I'm going to be using a wide tooth comb today. I might use some of this, but I don't even know if I'll use it. I'm going to use a couple of clips, and I'm going to use this Revlon, um, I don't know what they call this. It's like a hot brush, and it's got some bristles to it. Um, it's just their, like, hot air brush, I guess. I got this on Amazon. Um, yeah, so we're going to use this. You could also, instead of using this, you can use a steamer. John Renault has a, a nice steamer. You can use any garment steamer. You want to wet your wig before you go to straighten it out with any kind of like heat or air. And you can use like uh, your hair, your blow dryer. So you can use your blow dryer and some of this or you can use this and it kind of untangles it anyways. But I would only use this on straight wigs because if you use this on a curly wig, it's literally going to pull the curl right out of it. And then you'll have to put the curl back in. Which is hard if, it, if your wig's not heat friendly to put curl back in. It can be done. 
it can be done, but I, you know, I don't want to recommend that because I've never done it and it seems like it would be super hard to do. So we are going to work on this gal right here and I'm going to show you how we do that and we will be right back. Let me get her set up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to work on her section by section and I'm hoping that this is going to come across and that the lighting isn't too weird. The first thing you want to do is get your wig a little bit wet. So I'm just going to spray it with this Aesthetica spray just to dampen it just a little bit because I'm going to run a comb through it very lightly. You want to take the tangles out and you always want to start at the bottom of the wig. And the reason you want to take the tangles out is because when you comb through a wig that's synthetic, and if you get like cut or not cut, if you get stuck on a snag and you pull it, you're just ruining the fibers essentially because you're stretching them out. And when you stretch them out, they tend to look frizzy. So if your wigs start to look frizzy, it's probably because you're pulling on it too hard, possibly. Um, and it makes it really tangly and it looks like almost like it has split ends. So I want to get all the snags out of it before I even put the hot air brush to it because I don't want to be pulling that hot air brush through it and have it, um, you know, make it even worse. So we're just wetting it and getting out the snags. That's all we're doing right here. That's all we're doing on this step. So you want to start at the bottom and kind of just work your way up and get the tangles out. And use a wide, make sure you use a wide tooth comb. Um, that's also helpful with your wigs to use a wide tooth comb. And also this wig is freshly washed. This is what it looks like right after I wash it in the Aesthetica. And honestly, just doing that, washing it with the Aesthetica wig shampoo and conditioner makes it so much better, so much better. So, okay, I think we got most of the tangles out of her. We're gonna do one side at a time. And I'm going to do the underside first. The underside's actually the worst. So I'm just going to separate this a little bit. I just kind of want to put the top hair up here. Okay, sorry. I took a break there because I had to find my... This is like a chin strap, wig chin strap. You can attach it so when you're pulling, like you're <laughs> blow drying your wigs or doing whatever to them, they don't, the wig don't go flying off your stand. <laughs> That's what those are for. So it'll hold it down. So I'm just going to spray this. Again, because you want it to be a little bit damp. You don't want to do this on dry, dry hair. Okay, so we're going to take this. I'm going to put it on low, on low at first. And it'll heat up just a little bit. And you just want to pull it through just like you're brushing. And since we've gotten all the snags out, you can start kind of at the top and go down. I like to go underneath too. Because underneath is where you really get the most tangles. So I'm just lightly going through this and already you can see that this is looking much better and much new, like almost like new because the, mo the, the uh, even just the motion of it is much better. So I'm going to put it up on high just for a little bit and pulling it down through. Pulling it down through. And there's that. So then we're going to let this hair, the top hair go. Take your comb through it one more time just to make sure that there's no snags. We'll start at the bottom again. Just pull your brush through, and you just keep doing this until you see the flyaways go away. And look at the movement that I've already gotten back in this wig, just from this section. And you just keep doing this until you see it, it made it. Now, I like to take my brush, and at the ends, I kind of 
twist it like this and pull through. So here we are, just one section, and already you can tell this hair looks like pretty much brand new. Okay, so we're going to do the back. I'm not going to section the back because this wig, uh, this will also take a lot of, it, when you first get Zara, she's got quite a bit of permatease up top. If you do this to the top, it would take quite a bit of that permatease out as well. If you don't like all that permatease. And again, this wig is damp. So I'm just going to run this through. And again, I like to take it from underneath. And again, you'll just keep doing this until you see results, until you see the flyaways just kind of go away. I like to turn up the high just for a little bit. There we have that hair. And as you can see, like when I run my comb through now, it's like silk. There's like no snags at all. At all. So here's the side I haven't done, and here's the side that I have done. I mean, you can see a big difference in these, these two sides of hair. Look how good that moves. And this kind of lumpy. <laughs> but you can even see from the front here, this is the side I've done and this side is not done. Okay, so let's move over to this area and I'm gonna pull this up again. I'm gonna kind of split it into two sections and we're gonna start under here. You want to spray the wig just to get it a little bit wet again. Make sure there's no tangles in it. And you will have a few hairs that come out, but in the grand scheme of things, if you can make a wig look brand new, or almost brand new, a few hairs really don't make that big of a difference. And I've done this to this wig several times. Probably every couple weeks. Once she wears out of that new stage, I probably have to do this about every couple of weeks. And I use this and go like twist it on the sides because I like the hair to go away from my face. And see how nice that hair is now? It looks pretty much almost brand new. So we're going to bring the top down. And again, just make sure you're getting the, the knots out of it, if there are any. Spray it one more time with some water and go back. Go back over it. You can also get hair out of your face by brushing it backwards away from the face. But if Zara is too permatized for you, if you just put this at the top of the wig at the root here I wish I, and like pull bring this downwards you'll get rid of a lot of that permatease by doing that if she has too much permatease for you okay so this is pretty much about the final results and as you can see I can run my fingers through this it's got a lot of movement back to it. It's like silky smooth all the way through. Silky, silky, silky. And so that's what she looks like. And again, you can just keep going over this until you're happy with the results. But I mean, I you know, before I did that, she was very, very out of shape. And now, look at that hair now. I mean, it's practically brand new. Back to the old, back to the way she was when I bought her. 
Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you would please. And also now would be a good time after you've done the hot air brush to take your silicone spray and put it on the other underside of your nape right here and that will help it not to tangle. I won't say it won't tangle, but it will help a little bit. But if you do this to your wig, you can do, the, like I said, I do this probably every couple of weeks, but I literally wear this wig every day, 10 to 12 hours a day, and I've had this one for months. And I do this about every two weeks. As soon as she starts looking really raggedy, that's when I do it. But as you can see, this hair is like silky smooth. Even the underside is silky smooth. So I highly recommend doing that to your wigs if it's something that you want to do add some life to your wigs, but just remember that really no matter what wig or what brand you buy, it's going to tangle, it's going to get a little bit ratty, just try and do your best, use wig products, um, you know, specifically for wigs, do not use fabric softener, I repeat, do not use fabric softener to soften up a wig, absolutely do not do that, it will ruin the fibers, I know a lot of people recommend that on here, do not do it, I used to do that and my wig, I'm sorry, I'm having breathing issues. I've been like sick for a month. I don't know what's going on with me. So please ignore that. But um, do not use fabric softener at all. It will make your wigs gummy. It almost gums up the fibers. Definitely, definitely buy yourself some wig products. Even if you have to go on Amazon and get some cheap wig products, it's better than you ruining your wig with human hair and fabric softener. Do not use fabric softener. Do not do that. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to redo this uh, segment with my hot air brush, and I guess that's all for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am doing a giveaway on my channel, so um, if you want to check that video out, if, you sub if you're subscribed, you're automatically entered. So please subscribe to my channel, and I hope you're all having a great day.